Hey there, thank you for coming to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Let's talk about shading and contouring today. So I'll be reviewing, swatching, and also comparing for you a bunch of very popular contouring and shading powder from Korea. But first, let's talk about what it means to contour and also how to choose the correct shade. Of first, let's understand what it means to contour or add shades to our face. Just like in art class, contouring or shading is adding darkness to certain features of your face and bring that features backward in space. Contouring is the exact opposite of highlighting, which is adding light to certain parts of your face and bringing that feature forward. Contouring is also not to be mistaken for bronzing. Bronzing is when you add warmth to a certain part of your face to mimic the effect of being sun-kissed or tan. Because contouring is adding shadows to a certain part of your face, we usually think of contouring powder as being matte and slightly cool tone gray or brown shade. So contouring techniques and contouring products are not new, especially in Western makeup. However, I feel that this has not been popularized in Asian makeup until pretty recently. And as expected, Korea and Japan are among the first few Asian countries that introduced shading and contouring powders that are tailored for Asian skin tones. Since I am a neutral undertone and also sometimes leaning more cool, especially into the colder months of the year, I'm going to focus this video on cooler tone shading products in the Korean beauty industry. So let's now jump right into the swatching and reviewing of some of these very popular contouring products from Korea. The first shading powder I want to talk about is the Too Cool for School Art Class by Rodang Shading Powder. A couple of years ago, Too School for School released the number one compact classic. And this compact consists of three distinct brown and gray tinted brown colors of different saturation values. Recently, Too Cool for School released the number two powder, Modern. The three shades selected for the number two modern compact is definitely way less warm in tone but they're also not completely just gray either. I can still see there is a tiny bit of warmth in all three colors. There's also a slight bit of brownish tint in the darkest color of the number two compact. The powder formula of Two School for School is soft and creamy, and the colors also swatch correctly to how they look in the pan. Here I have used both the number one classic contouring shade and the number two modern contouring shades on either side of my face. As you can see, the side that I use classic definitely has a little bit more warmth and there is a brown tint to it. This kind of warm shading will look nice when I have a tanner skin tone in the summer months. On the other side of my face, I have used modern. On this side, I think the contouring on my skin tone is definitely more natural. And if you look particularly at the nose contouring, the color of the number one compact gives way less of a natural looking nose contour than the number two compact. The next product I want to talk about is the Peripera Ink V Shading Powder in number 3, Hazel Grey. This is a new release for Peripera, and the compact consists of all light grays and gray tinted browns with no yellow or orange tint whatsoever in all the three shades. This formula of powder is drier and easily clumps, especially if you have not powdered your face before contouring. Even though this number 3 hazel gray compact from the Peripera Ink V shading range can still be used by people with a warmer undertone, I believe that you will need to be more careful and light-handed with your contouring so that your contour does not look muddy. The next product that we have is the Rare Kind Mini Album To Go Shading in Cool Brown. The color selection is very similar to the Too Cool For School number 2 when looking at the two pans next to each other. The powder in the Rare Kind Mini Album To Go Shading Compact is even softer and more finely milled than the Too Cool For School Compact. The colors in this compact when swatched are more cool than the Too Cool For School number 2 Compact, but not so gray that it turns purple. However, the two lightest color are quite light in the Rare Kind Compact and they only show up on my skin after quite a bit of layering. 
Compared to the Too Cool For School number no. 2, the shades in the Rare Kind Compact when swatched are also more olive toned than neutral toned. Last, we have the newest release of the Cool Tone Shading Compact, the Holika Holika Tone Tuning Shading Compact in number no. 1 Cool Ground. Ground is as in gray plus brown, and as the name suggests, the shades in this compact are brown tinted gray and light brown. This shade selection is very similar to both the Too Cool For School Compact and the Rare Kind Compact. However, if we compare it to the Rare Kind Shading Powder, it is less olive, and when compared to the Too Cool For School Powder, it is slightly more brown tone. The lightest color in the Holika Holika Tone Tuning Shading Compact is definitely the lightest color out of all four range of shading powders I reviewed today. Even if I layer this powder many times on my skin, it will not show up very clearly. The powder formulation of the Holika Holika Tone Tuning Shading Powder is also fine but is not as creamy and it's rather dry if compared to the Too Cool For School or the Rare Kind Powder Formulation for their shading compact. It can be pretty difficult to choose the correct contouring shade for your face, but there are two things that I think you should keep in mind when you're shopping for contouring powder. First of all, you should know what is your undertone and overtone. So for example, I am a neutral undertone person with a yellow overtone. As such, even though my shadow will be on the cooler or neutral side of gray or brown, I still want my contouring powder to have a slight bit of warmth to it to make it look natural and blend it into my skin. If my contouring powder was to be too cool toned, it could look a little bit muddy and at the same time I don't want my contouring powder to be too warm or orange because it could also look like I'm putting something that is not supposed to be where I place my contouring product. Overall, here are my recommendations for each skin tone's shading color. If you are someone who is neutral to cool tone, or if you are warm tone but prefer a cool tone shading color, then I would recommend the Too Cool For School Art Class by Rodang number no. 2 in Modern. If you are medium, medium, dark Asian skin tone with a warmer undertone, or if you are just someone who enjoy doing some tan touring, then I recommend the number one compact from Too Cool For School. This is the shade Classic. Lastly, if you are an olive undertone or if you prefer an even finer formulation for shading powder and you like somewhat of a cool tone shading selection, then I would recommend the Rare Kind Mini Album To Go Shading Compact. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I hope that this video has been helpful to you, especially if you were wondering what kind of differences there are between these contouring powder and also what kind of shades you should be selecting for your own skin tone. Let me know in the comment section below if you were enjoying this video, if you were able to pick out the right kind of contouring product for yourself, and if there's some other contouring products that you would like me to review or try. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.